Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I am doing kind of a day in my life. It is a day off, it's Monday, so it's a strange day to have a day off, but it's because we have a six day week of shows. So we have the Monday off because we work on the Sunday at the end of the week. I started my day, I had my breakfast, and then I got back to all of the comments and direct messages on Instagram that I haven't been able to get back to for weeks. So it was nice to have a couple of hours just to sit down and do that. I then did a little bit of cleaning before straightening my hair. You can see what a difference it makes with my hair. It just goes so fluffy when I don't straighten it. So I normally straighten it once a week because um, I had a important Zoom call coming up later that day. I also had to do the essential clipping the toenails. This is like pre-show week essentials. Um, I also put this cream on because um, my feet can get quite sweaty in the point shoes. Hello everyone. I feel like it's time to talk because I've just answered a lot of your messages and comments this morning and I realised that I've like mentioned things in vlogs but haven't actually spoken about what any of it's really about so I thought this would be a more chatty vlog preparing for Nutcracker because we are opening on Friday, Friday night. Does my room look like a mess? I have been trying to clean it, sorry. Irrelevant. So Nutcracker opens on Friday. We've been rehearsing hard for it. It feels like it's been weeks and weeks and weeks but now it's here it's like oh my goodness Nutcracker's about to start. We have I think a four, four week run of it, 28 shows. So it's a bit daunting thinking it's all gonna kind of kick off. This week is a lot of late nights, a lot of stage calls. I think we have two on Wednesday, two on Thursday, one on Friday before open night and four shows this week. One on Friday, two on Saturday and one on Sunday. Today is Monday. We actually got the day off today because we're working till Sunday. So they always make sure we get one day off in a seven day week. Yesterday I did completely, I called it bed day. I completely vegged out, watched tennis and a movie, just responded to the absolute necessity emails and stuff, but didn't push myself to food prep or clean. Um, I did a bit of my washing, but I mainly just tried to rest my mind and my body because my stress levels have been extremely high and I haven't been sleeping well. So that's what I did yesterday and I ate quite a bit because even in your recovery stages it's sometimes it's the most important time to get fuel in because you actually have time um, recently it's been feeling like I don't even have time it's just running from one rehearsal to another quite a cereal bar kind of week obviously getting my meals in but my snacks have been you know naked bars galore anyhow where am I going with this well the sun is blinding I'm getting ready with me for a week of shows also, so many of you asked what uni course I'm doing. I've got uni tonight. I'm going around to one of my friends who's also on my uni course. So basically the course that I'm doing, I got a level six diploma from Elmhurst Valley School when I was there and I can top that diploma up to a BA honours degree, professional practice performing arts in under a year. So I'm, I'm going to be graduating around about, we finished the work in May. I decided to do this online course. Sometimes I have to say I've... <laughs> been regretting it because it has felt like a lot. A lot of you were asking how do I balance uni work with YouTube, with Instagram and with my job and sometimes honestly I don't know. The main thing that I've been focusing on just planning well. So when I had an essay I needed due in, I planned the date that I wanted it written by or what day I was going to write it on so I knew in Black Sabbath I wouldn't have the brain space to actually construct a pretty good essay during a work day. So I was like, okay, Sunday morning on the whatever day it was when we got back from London Sutherland's Wells, you were gonna spend that day. If it's the only thing you do, you're gonna get that essay pretty much complete or, or whereabouts. And so I managed to, I think, write about over half of my essay on that day, 1,200 words. And kind of setting myself those goals makes me a lot more efficient and brings down the anxiety of like, oh, wow, this needs to be done and I never know when I'm going to do it. If I know when I'm going to do it, it seems to help me to time manage and to not stress as much. I have to say, I still feel pretty stressed sometimes. We've had to create an artifact, getting clarification whether what I've created is actually constitutes an artifact. So we will find out. I need to be in by the 4th of December. Getting together my research project. You can do it on anything, but I think I want to do mine on perfectionism because it's something I really struggle with and I'm really interested 
to see how it may affect others and other high achievers in my industry. So kind of the update on my uni work. My only problem is I need to talk to my supervisor and her times and my times don't work and I really need to speak to her sometime this week. Dilemma, but it's okay. I hope. It will be okay. This morning I got to talk to one of the brands which I'll be collaborating with over this Christmas period. It's one of my dream brands to work with. So this week when I saw that come through out of the blue, I, I don't think I've ever been that excited before. I'll see it on my Instagram, so make sure to go follow me on there. So today I'm just resetting because I didn't get much done yesterday. I'm I just finished off my washing. I'm gonna go get my groceries and things I need for the week, cereal bars, food prep for the week. I'm doing something different. I'm stepping out of the boat, everyone. Chicken. I hate cooking chicken, but I'm gonna face my fear and do it because I think I need a bit more variety because I've been eating just kind of my minced meat, courgette and sweet potato for a bit too long now. So I need to mix things up. I think it's good for my gut. Already stocked up on the baked apple yogurt from m &S. in the fridge already. Grab some stuff for my salads. I'm excited to go see my friend. I think this weekend I would have really loved to have gone home and saw my family, but I didn't because I sometimes find the travel is actually so exhausting that I come back and I'm ill and I don't feel quite right for a show week. I did it before the first stage calls of Black Sabbath because I was like, I just feel like I need to be grounded with my family before I go into this really intense season. And then I came back and like the next day I felt like really ill and tired because of the, the travel. It takes, it's like a three and a half to four hour journey there and then three and a half hour journey, four hour journey back. So it's like eight hours of travel over like a couple of days because I only get to be there for a couple of days. Traveling is much more exhausting and dehydrating than, than I realized. As much as I wanted to go home, all my family was ill with colds and I couldn't afford to get ill before this next kind of run of shows. I do feel kind of nervous for the run of shows, I don't know why. I think maybe it's excitement to get back performing again. Some classical rep. Classical rep, I get much more meticulous about the way I want it to be performed. I mean, I get meticulous about everything, okay? Let's not let, all you have to do is watch Black Sabbath vlogs and see that when I get irritated when something's not completely perfect. But another big question everyone's been asking is what roles I am doing and I'm going to keep them under wraps for a little bit longer until those vlogs, I will be vlogging some of the Nutcracker shows, maybe not all of them because there's four weeks of them and you guys will be sick of it by the end, but I will be vlogging those. I'm doing most of the roles that I did my first year and then I have one additional role this year which I'm super excited to be doing. It's like my first kind of little solo part. Excited to explore what that will feel like on stage um, in a classical ballet. So learning lots and go and do this food prep now so that it takes that stress off because that kind of fueling stress for me is quite, for some people it's not such a big deal but for me I, I have quite sensitive sensitive stomach. If it's not done it's quite a big stress because I know I can't perform at my best if I am in a lot of pain with my stomach so um need to go and get that done so i'm gonna stop procrastinating i think that's everything i wanted to cover in this little vlog i will take you throughout the rest of my day which isn't that exciting but hopefully you will enjoy so i went to the grocery store and i grabbed all my ingredients for the week this is probably the most expensive shop i've done in a long time because i was just trying to get so much food prep done so that i didn't have to stress later on in the week and then i was quite hungry when I got back so maybe that is why it was the most expensive shop because you know you should never shop when you're hungry um, I made that mistake anyhow I started food prepping my banana bread and my chicken and potatoes and veg you'll see that in a minute and this is me trying to find the cinnamon thinking it's at the back of this cupboard and looking for a good five minutes before thinking maybe it might be in the other cupboard and voila there was a cinnamon uh anyhow just showing how organized i am uh, popping some walnuts in there even more groceries into the week i feel like i'm hoarding a bit i'd rather have more than less like, we only have like one day to recover each time so there's not a whole lot of time for grocery shopping So these are all for dinners, I'm just waiting on the chicken that's in here which I'm going to shred and pop on top of these kind of Mediterranean vegetable bowls. Then I need to put my banana breads in the oven and then I'll freeze them for the next few weeks. I think I'm almost ready for the week to start. 
I've just been food prepping and I bought loads of stuff in bulk, as I said. Some of them being these naked bars. I absolutely love these. These are excellent between performances, between rehearsals, and they were on club card, so they're on offer. They're quite expensive, so I thought I'll buy them in bulk. I also found this, which usually they're quite expensive, but these are bath salts and I've run out of bath salts. So these are great for recovery, for our performances. And I also found this, which was really cute. It's like a yogurt pot. And I've recently had yogurt with protein powder. So it's nice, I can put the, put the protein powder on the top and the yogurt in there. Who knows if I actually get around to using it. <laughs> and we are about to do our university together online on zoom it's nice to be able to do it with someone and not on my own let's see what this adventure is going to be tonight i don't even know what we're doing do you know what this one is on no no, no clue yay we love uni <laughs> it was so nice to do the uni session with hope because sometimes i can feel so alone with things and it was nice to kind of have our two heads put together so that we can do our very best in the uni session. I then had this amazing dinner prepared by Hope's mom. It was the perfect combination of home cooked goodness and I felt so taken care of which was the perfect way to start my week. Um, and then it was the opening week of Nutcracker. It was a very very busy schedule with about two stage calls a day but I can say that I am so, so grateful for this opportunity to be performing again in Nutcracker. This time last year, I was still just trying to get back to walking, let alone dancing and getting to explore all these wonderful roles that I get to do every night. So I really feel like I've come a long way since this time last year, and I'm trying to embrace each moment with so much gratitude. Um, of course, there's many things I can still work on, many things I want to get better at, but ultimately I feel like this Nutcracker truly is the reality of dreaming big and making it happen. Practicing her step before she goes on stage. Big step. Big stay. I hope she's vlogging this week. This will be good vlog footage. Yeah, it was. Yes, Hannah. I don't think your arabesque leg is quite high enough. <laughs> I think she'll be hitting your rear. We're filming your bum now. Let's zoom in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 